everybody. Tyler here with Seaway Whiskey Wire. Got another mail call coming in today. This time uh, we're doing some glassware, a review of, uh, it's not really glassware as, as much as it is, uh, you know, a whiskey vessel. Um, but it's from a company that uh, not many people probably heard of, but they reached out to me a couple months ago called Maltour. Elevate the aroma and enrich the taste. So what they're, uh, what they're manufacturing and going to be bringing to the marketplace shortly is a, a whiskey vessel or whiskey glass that is completely made out of oak and their whole idea is that with the oak you'll impart those aromas and flavors as you drink the whiskey so it's supposed to enhance every uh, every sip you take as it goes on so a very interesting concept uh, they asked me if I'd review their glass so it just came in and I uh, thought I'd just do a little quick unboxing of the product with you guys and there's a little bit more to it uh, as far as steps to kind of prep the glass and before we use it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little unboxing We'll do a little preparatory work as well, and then I'm going to come back and do a formal review after maybe trying a few uh, different uh, glasses uh, or a few different drams of whiskey through it. So yeah, without further ado, this is the box that came in the mail. Uh, I haven't really opened it yet. I just took it out to see what it was because it wasn't really addressed that well, but uh, they did tell me it was coming in. So here it is. So nice uh, little uh, black uh, case here for it. Maltour, elevate the aroma and enrich the taste written on it there. And I assume this is kind of how they're going to bring it to marketplace. So, it comes in a uh, protective case here. Bring that out, and yep. So, yeah, it's a. So it's got a solid oak vessel the inside too, and then a stainless steel base to lay it down on there. Now the wood, at first sight, it. It feels it's like a little bit rough like it's unfinished um, definitely needs to be you know cleaned obviously it's a it's an early one so I imagine it was not that it was rushed out but it probably just in transit that it does need to be cleaned. so I will wash it and they had sent me a note um, there is some beeswax included in this so uh, <laughs> Maltour <laughs> Maltour beeswax on there too so what they've asked me to do is they've asked me to treat the glass or the the vessel um, and then wait one to two days and what will happen is the, the beeswax will bring it in. You can see it's fairly light uh, in color here, very pale. Uh, and what what's supposed to happen is after a couple of days, the, um, the beeswax is supposed to impart some, some color into that as well as protect the glass. And what they're saying is you're going to have to do this treatment every one to two months, just depending on use to keep the glass vibrant and looking sharp. So, um, you know, first impressions, <laughs> it's a, it's a wooden cup. That's the first impressions I've got. You got a nice Maltour stamp on the bottom here on the stainless steel. It feels like a quality product. I mean, the wood looks very quality. It's been milled professionally. And uh, yeah, curious to see what comes next as far as uh, will it impart the flavor that they're talking about? Will it, uh, you know, have a little bit of a smell to it? I can tell you right now, it just smells like wood <laughs> coming out of a factory or something. So we'll give this a good cleaning. I'll apply the beeswax to it, uh, wait a couple days, maybe I'll take some pictures to document kind of how that's going and I'll place them in the video here somewhere uh, for sequ sequential uh, purposes so you can see kind of how the progression is going. And then yeah, we'll try it out in some, uh, some whiskey and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. All right guys, I'm back with the Maltor. Uh, drinking uh, vessel here, the cup uh, made out of oak. And uh, you know, I've had a couple drams of, uh, of some different bourbons and different scotches through it just to kind of see how, uh, if any, there is any kind of like impartment of flavor or uh, ability to enjoy it more versus like a, a normal Glencairn or whatnot. And uh, so tonight I've got a dram of uh, Ezra Brooks uh, 99 proof in here, just uh, sipping away on it here to try and see if it enhances it. Um, one thing I will say that uh, is definite is because you've got more um, of an opening at the, at the top there, it really amplifies the nose. You don't get like a clean, clean nose though, like you would get off like a Glencairn or whatnot. Um, there is that kind of oak uh, tannin that lays around in the air there a little bit. And it kind of is reminiscent of like, I don't want to say like a wood shop, but it, it just kind of has this this character of, 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 of like a, a lumber yard kind of thing. Um, do, I, do I like that? It's not really my favorite thing in the world. Um, but we'll go in for a sip here of the Ezra Brooks, which is, you know, a pretty plain Jane out of the out of the gate uh, bourbon, entry level bourbon, and we'll uh, see if there's any enhancement to the flavor profile.
I mean, for what it's worth, you get a little bit in there. The cup is a little bit, uh, the cup does impart a bit of flavor. Uh, it's not, it's subtle, but you know, is it worth your time to go out and, uh, and see this out? I don't know if you guys can tell, um, <laughs> the cup is actually uh, leaking right now. Uh, you can see the, you can see the bourbon dripping down there. And uh, yeah, this is something I've kind of gone back and forth with, with the producer. Uh, $56 and I've, I've had it now for a couple weeks. I've treated it probably two to three times with, um, with the beeswax. I've tried a couple different grams. Uh, it's hit and miss whether it leaks or not. Um, and to me, that's just not, uh, not worth it. And that's why I have uh, the Ezra Brooks in here uh, today because you know what? It, if it goes uh, awry like this and gets leaking, I'm not out a whole bunch. So unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to uh, to tell you to pass on this. I appreciate the guys from Maltor sending me this over and uh, trying it out there. But uh, to me, uh, I would just ignore it. And uh, sorry to say that, but I can't recommend something that leaks. So I'll leave you with that, guys. Um, if you guys like what we're doing here at Seaway Whiskey Wire, like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Seaway Whiskey Wire. Um, so with that, guys, I'm going to go clean up and uh, probably do away with this cup <laughs> for the last time and uh, consider this my review closed. So uh, take care, all the best, and I'll see you guys around. See ya.